the Legacy Fighting Alliance returned home to Dallas, Texas, site of LFA1 for the promotion's 47th event. Hey everyone, I'm Ron Kruk. He, of course, is the Hall of Famer, Pat Militich. Pat, LFA 47 may have started a little bit slow, but boy, did they end with fireworks. It started very slow, actually, but it finished the way it's supposed to finish with a big boom. Absolutely, that's what you do at the Bomb Factory. Four fights, four finishes to end the evening. Sean Spencer and Bilal Williams, the eight-time UFC vet Spencer, got taken down by Williams, Pat. It was all the tiger. Bilal Williams, big underdog, as you said. Landed that jab, hurt Spencer, and then just stayed on him. Huge opportunity for him, Bilal capitalized. Bilal Williams earns his first victory in the LFA Octagon, breaks a four-fight losing streak. Another man coming off a loss, Ramiz Brahimai, suffered his first professional defeat, facing another UFC veteran, William McCardio, and it was all Brahimai in this one. Yeah, McCardio, though, started out pretty well. He was landing some heavy strikes early on, made a few mistakes. Brahimai took his time, composure, and here, when he got a chance to snatch the neck, he went for it, he knew he had it, and McCardio goes to sleep. This was by far the biggest victory for the 25-year-old Ramiz Brahimai, his seventh win and his seventh victory coming by way of submission. Featherweight action, Levi Mal's three-fight winning streak and Charles Cheek's two-fight winning streak. This was a back-and-forth fight, Pat, from the beginning. Yeah, Cheeks really landed some heavy shots on Miles, but as always, Miles didn't even blink, stayed in there. He was fine, kept his composure, and eventually was able to pick apart Charles Cheeks with the strikes and then pounce on him with that black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's always happy to go to the ground and sink the choke. Sink in the choke. Fourth straight victory for Levi Mouse, all coming this year. You may see Levi Mouse in our Access TV Fights featherweight rankings. The featherweight interim title was on the line when Dallas, Texas, and number two ranked Damon Jackson met number three ranked Nate Jennerman. But Pat, it was the hometown favorite, Damon Jackson, taking control. Started out fast, showing his boxing has improved. Right away, getting on Jennerman, landing those blistering shots. And we really felt that this fight was not going to go the distance, but we certainly didn't expect it to end the way that it did. Damon Jackson showing the striking prowess, how it has improved. His coach is very proud of him. He was trying to get the submission wins, but Jennerman had good defense on the ground. But then finally, boom, right on the chin. Damon Jackson with the finish. He had lost in his only title fight in the LFA, but this time Damon Jackson gets his first KO since 2013. He is the new LFA interim featherweight champ, and we he doesn't get a call up to the UFC. We could see a title unification bout with current featherweight champion Kevin Aguilar next. Well, speaking of next, LFA 48 will be our next event going down on September 7th, the first time that we will be in Nebraska. And Pat, what a matchup between a guy you know very well. Rafian Stotts versus Ryan Lilly. Gonna be a great, great fight. Lilly, very tough guy. Rafian Stotts is not a newcomer. He has been fighting quite a bit. And I tell you what, the two-time national wrestling champion, this guy's a stud, this is gonna be a hell of a fight. He will have his hands full with number three ranked and boss Rutin protege, Ryan Lilly. That's our next LFA event, September 7th, right here on Access TV. And be sure to follow us on social media.